Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a video about preschool, school searching life in San Francisco. So my daughter is 21 months. She's about to be two in December. And so I've read on mom groups uh, how annoying or arduous the process is and choosing a preschool here and with the light of like in light of I guess is the right word of knowing all the knowledge that I know about San Francisco public schools I don't think that San Francisco public school is going to be for us I've my husband and I were from immigrant families and we are have been brought up on public schools. We didn't do any private schools. So this is a whole new game for me. So, you know, just thinking about my daughter, I really want good education and some place where she can, I know that she will be treated well and fit in. So with me, I lived in West Palm Beach, Florida, all through my childhood. And it was, I was like the minority. And so this is one of the reasons why I like being in California because I just look like everyone else and I'm just not anything special. You know, like there's so many Asian people here and the, the Asian culture is so honored here. So that's why I just love living in San Francisco, let alone the food is the bomb versus in Florida, there was like rarely any variety, but I think it is getting better. And just my experience in school being the minority, I often felt like my food was like always made fun of and my eyes, my features are always made fun of. And so one of my priorities for my daughter, because she's full Asian, she's half Vietnamese, half Chinese, is to find a school that honors her culture and teaches her values. And with the um, San Francisco public schools, they had so much drama. And by drama, I don't know if you guys remember during COVID, they had that one woman working there and she was focusing on renaming schools instead of getting the kids back in school. So that, that was like one strike for me. And then the other strike is that now the enrollment in the San Francisco public school is so low that they're shutting down schools, which is so crazy. They're shutting down schools. And so what one of the public schools that I was really interested in was the Gordon Lau Elementary School that was like, I think it was ranked pretty high. It was, it was not the best, but it's it was still pretty good. And what they're doing is they're shutting a neighborhood school near it and they're shoving all the kids in into that Gordon Lau Elementary School, which is already at capacity. So that to me is like the ratio is going to be off and she won't get the attention that she needs to learn. Or if there's like a shortcoming that she has, she probably won't have the resources from that school. So right now, as of 2024, I'm just thinking that San Francisco public school is off the table for us. But yeah, so now we're looking, we're looking at preschools and um, my husband and I, we, like I said, we're from immigrant parents, we're immigrant families and we're like the first generation in the U.S. and are born in the U.S. and we never went to preschool. So I, I went to kindergarten and I remember I was like jazz and I had no problem enrolling and I have seen like preschool starts to like get them learning faster. And that's something that I want to do for my daughter. I want her to start from a higher level than I was. And so we're looking at preschools and I just wanted to share our journey. I booked, I started booking preschool tours fall of 2024, which is now because I'm hoping she turns two in December and I'm hoping to kind of in, ease her into it so she's like good to go by the age of three. So I want to just tell you guys my experience on the school tours and just kind of what my my own opinion is. I want I want to highlight this again, my own opinion, my own opinion. So just in case you're like, oh my God, I'm getting pissed about what she's saying about the different schools. You can make your own YouTube channel and then you can write your own opinion, okay? So anyways, and if you have feedback, this is not to say don't give me feedback, but if you have feedback and maybe your child is in that school or maybe I'm like not seeing something in the right perspective, please leave a comment, educate me, okay? I really want to know. But okay, so we went on the, our first school tour and the school was called Calvary. Um, 
I think it's Calvary Nursery School. And one thing that I stood out to me that was, um, well, we'll start with the pros. I did like the energy of the teachers. Um, I felt like they were very involved. Uh, the moms looked like they were jazzed. The They have an outdoor playground on the rooftop, so they're not stuck inside all the time. They have a playground right next to the school. Um, I did, it could have been a foggy day, but it kind of looked a little bit dark in there. But, it, you know, San Francisco is foggy, so I'm, that's no knock to them. But yeah, they, and it seemed like they had really good educated teachers. And I love that it was connected to the church. I will say that um, I'm not religious in like the normal way. Like I go to church and everything like that, but I do value look at my eyebrows and my hair is like really fuzzy. Um, I do value a lot of the church things that they have. So I have no problem having my daughter like pray because I pray on my own, um, not to any type of religion, but just what I think is right. Um, and I, I want her to learn values. So that was one of the cons that I really loved. They have like an apple seed, Johnny apple seed prayer, um, that they give right before they eat, which I love. Um, yeah. The only con for this is there are there like the the diversity of the nursery school. Like I said, I I'm from Florida and I hated just like not I hated being like the odd man out and just the other only other person that looked different, um, and the only Asian kid in class. And it was very apparent to me when I was little, and people made fun of me. So with that being said, they had no diversity. I saw only one Asian kid there. The rest of them were like white kids. Um, I don't know. I don't think like that is something that I will enroll my daughter in, but everyone was nice. And what I loved is like one guy came out from the church afterwards and was like, oh, this is such a great school. And I'm sure it is. Um, but that was like a knock to them. But yeah, just like the diversity is just not there. So I don't know. And I'm not even sure if I'm like, if I'm, you know, the type of mom that kind of uh fits in with those moms if you know what I mean uh okay then today we went to a Montessori um school I think it was called what was it called let me let me check my calendar but I think it's it's called Montessori School of San Francisco I think but anyways it's near the Presidio or no it's yeah it's near the Presidio um I thought the school pre oh my gosh the tour like sucked only because the presentation was so long like you had to sit there and listen to the presentation I think she you know she put great information there but I'm just not one to sit down for that long it was like almost like 30 minutes maybe even over I can't sit too long because I'll just get anxious and uh, my tension span kind of like gets way wanes off to nothing but yeah so this school was clean I loved that it was bright inside it's in a great neighborhood um the director was Asian so I vibed with that I saw diversity in that classroom there was like Indian um did I say Asian <laughs> Asian uh yeah it was very diverse we had American like white kids everything so I love the diversity yes great the only thing I didn't like is there's no playground connected to their school. And it doesn't seem like outdoor time is like a, a lot of it is going on during the school day. Uh, I think oh, maybe after towards the extracurricular activities, they do go outside. If you end up enrolling your child past 12 or whatever, then you get to go outside. But I think most of the time it's like indoor and they put them all in just this one room. The room is greatly spaced and it's the Montessori style which I love but I think for my values I I want I want my daughter I, I find that she's better behaved if she goes outside so I want a school that has like a connected playground and like a outdoor time but I did love the head teacher she was very calming and like sophisticated I just love I love the aura that she gave so I really liked the head teacher there um what else did I like uh yeah so just the outdoor time was a con for me but anyways I will keep you guys on my preschool hunting journey 
And one of my biggest fear for this journey is that drop off. I don't want her to cry her butt off. It's going to make me feel bad. I'm sure it's going to be fine for her. But for me, it breaks my heart to hear my daughter to cry and then I like leave her. So um, I'm trying to figure out ways on how to ease her into preschool. And one of the things that I've been looking into is a co-op where I can go with her to school. Um, and I signed her up already. I pay, I pay the deposit. But the only thing that kind of is off-putting for me is all the work that goes into it, like all the service hours, all the community service hours, all the maintenance hours. Your girl does not like to do maintenance. So, um, and I, I do want to be a good mom. I want to be involved in the community, but I am trying to 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 restart my career. So I'm not sure if I have enough energy and time to contribute to the co-op in the way that they like me to, but that's one of the options. And then there's also a great program in Chinatown that I'm also, that is also available to us where you can go with the kid, but you don't need to do um, community service hours, service hours, maintenance hours, meetings, trainings. That program, the only downside about that program, it's only from 1030 to 12 every, it's Monday through Thursday. So, but I have to go with her every single day. So I'm not sure if that's going to help with drop off as much as the co-op where I only go one time a week or I can go as many times um, until she feels comfortable. But yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions about drop off or you know, what type of easing in methodology you use for your kiddo. Anyways, I'm a, I'm a new mom to this like educational program in San Francisco. So any tips are helpful and chat, share with me your journey. And honestly, I just want to cheat off your notes. So if you have notes about the schools and why you like them and you don't like them, share it with me, link me, okay? Or just like email me, show me what you got. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later and I will keep you guys updated to my journey. I'll let you know the next school tour I go to and what my thoughts are. Uh, and please share your two cents. All right, I'll catch you guys later.